Hello Wonders! Welcome back to Filipino Wonder Channel and today's video we were gonna talk about the Philippines cost of living and so now guys get ready for more surprises let's go <music> of living here in the Philippines it depends of kind of lifestyle you have the location and the preferences that you have or you choose to um, here in the Philippines is way more cheaper or af affordable compared to Western country as we all know that here in the Philippines we still considered as the cheapest countries like our food apartments and any kinds of bills that you're paying for like every day or every month right but let's gonna talk about all those kinds of um, expenses that you can encounter here in the Philippines. Like especially right now here in the Philippines, we experience ex inflation right now. However, there are certain bills that might gonna add a portion in your bills monthly. Like electricity, water bills, or uh, internet bills. It's quite, quite of like expensive here in the philippines and of course we're gonna talk how much or the average um, monthly payment of those people or foreigners living here in the philippines so here in the philippines there are cities that way more expensive and there are some provinces that way more expensive also even though it is a province right so in manila guys if you're gonna talk about Manila. If you wanna live in Manila, Manila is very expected that is very much expensive there. The food, the electricity bill, or um, the condos, or apartments there in Manila. So the cost of living in Manila is way more expensive compared to the other cities, but because that is our capital city here in Philippines. And the expenses that you can spend for the apartment there, guys, is um, let's say like 20,000 to 50,000 pieces and it is quite um, very much expensive right and um, uh, way more expensive compared to here in the city to um, Cebu City because here in Cebu City you can have a good apartment or condos for around uh, uh, 15 to 18,000 per month because I know someone who live here in cities that is not really pay um, more compared to Manila so Manila, uh, it's like twenty to forty thousand or fifty thousand, or even in higher to that depends of the lifestyle that you are choosing too. And also the food there, guys, in Manila is way more expensive. Like everything is like all about money, money, you know. Like, um, but of course you can less, you can less, guys, upon like paying food. Like especially you want just to cook at home, which is a lot of people does that because they can save more a lot of money. And it is way more, more safer as well and less of hassle just like that because you can enjoy just cooking food or like let your partner cook food right that like that and then it's way more healthier but the electricity guys in Manila is very expensive like the kilowatts guys is quite, quite higher compared to the provinces the smaller province that's why um, a lot of foreigners don't want to live in the big city. They choose to live in the smaller city, which is one of the most common um, province that foreigners staying, which is the called um, foreigner know, retirement places of foreigner, right? So I know you guys already know this, and that is Dumaguete. Dumaguete is very well known to that. Um, where's foreigner live there? Because it's a province, and it's not really much expensive compared to the big city. And here in Cebu, guys, if we're gonna talk about the cost of living here, is like especially it is in the city. Um, it is quite expensive as well. Like uh, the transportation, taxis goes to for uh, 40, 40 you know, forty pesos to it goes up like you know it's a meter, you know, and then um, right now the ankas, the maxim is way more getting is way more expensive as well like it's getting um higher the prices are getting higher because experience um inflation here in the philippines but guys 
behind of all those kinds of sh um, higher prices here in the Philippines is that uh, every place or every city is offer different kinds of um, things or different kinds of activities that you can experience. And in Manila also, guys, if you want to live there, the higher kinds of lifestyle in there, I mean, like, they provide a good qualities because uh, it's way more accessible to any kinds of departments, any kinds of um, important things to do. Like, you know, if you want to go to the visas areas, which is, there's a lot there, you know, and then you will not going to be having a hard time because uh, it's way more accessible compared to just here in the cities or like in the smaller provinces. So what happened in Cebu City? Why is there still a lot of foreigners? Why they are not going to in the smaller provinces? Is that because in Cebu City, they can offer like a lot of bars, uh, like especially right now, like if you're retired, you want to do or you want to chill in the bars or you want to chill in the uh, some drinking areas just like that or any kind of good restaurant our bills guys I'm gonna tell you our bills there in Cebu City um, it goes like 3,000 per month 3,000 4,000 5,000 or even 8,000 and that is why like I feel like I need to complain about this because like it's very expensive and I am not the only one who got this but kind of higher bills but a lot of foreigners also complains about these higher bills here that they experience like especially they live in the city and uh, we had just only have the um, air conditioning and then of course the refrigerator and one refrigerator one air conditioner and it goes like three to eight thousand per month but it just depends on your use just because of the higher kilowatt kilo what so it's quite higher in the city but here guys i i'm surprised like here in the apartment guys that we have right now so now uh, i am talking here in the province guys so in the province the cost of living here like especially especially here in Toledo city um it is like around the electricity let's let's talk about electricity um the electricity we just paid last month is 2500 and the first month is like we just paid 1500 pesos which is just uh barely used the air conditioning like just every night but just last month we started um using almost every day because it's just very very hot and then we do a live and we do work at home just like that so we really need to be called just like that guys and um it's way more um cheaper compare there in Cebu because Cebu we just didn't use so much air conditioning compared here in Toledo City guys because we just experienced the heat wave here in the Philippines right now so that's why we need to be cool just like that guys and um as I compare here we just paid here like this apartment for 6,000 pesos only and it's get it it's very safe um studio type bed air conditioning CR uh, kitchen um, already have a bed frame just like that so and there in my other par apartment guys I was in Cebu that was like actually the real price original price is 12,000 but I asked the landlord to make it lower like 10,000 so I paid that one 10,000 pesos only per month and then it's not really that big compared here yeah so although like they have a nice CR and they have complete I um, mean they have bed, bed and then they have aircon but air conditioning is not really that functionable you know it's just sometimes you feel like it even though it's we already uh, turn on the air conditioning and then they um, and the refrigerator guys is we didn't use it much but we still pay and you know and then the, the apartment is quite expensive but here in Toledo City guys um we just paid like around six thousand yeah and then most of the apartments here like average apartment here in the philip in the toledo city province guys is six thousand three thousand three thousand to twelve thousand twelve thousand is quite very nice areas guys i was checking before like uh, in the north side areas uh toledo city guys uh near in the beach guys uh it's like two i um, mean 
two story guys it's 12,000 per month guys two story 12,000 per month it's very near in the beach guys and then yeah, it's very calm areas near in the road you know you don't like you don't feel lonely anymore because you just go to the beach or whatever kinds of activities you know you want to do and but still like 12,000 only but you cannot have a place like that for 12,000 only there in Cebu City you can have a much more expensive than that like 15 um 18 20 30,000 30,000 is quite more very very nice place so i saw a um a place here in Toledo city that they just rented it out like for 40,000 it's like a villa so 40,000 guys but in city like that guys a kind of villa thing villa house style it goes up to um, it goes up to 50,000 to 60,000 or even goes to 100,000 per month. So it's very crazy. It's quite like let's just compare the prices guys from the province to the city is quite different so guys if you're gonna visit here in our country you need to know or you need to identify what kinds of living or what kind of lifestyle you want to or uh, prefer guys because if you want to live in the city expect that the prices there is quite more higher compared to the uh, provinces but um but of course comparing the um philippines lifestyle of philippines prices compared to the western countries of course it's really very more different very much different it's that because um you your country guys is quite more expensive compared here so don't, you don't need to worry also so that's the reason why there's a lot of foreigners wanted to move here in the Philippines because they want to have a slow life and then comfortable life and not so expensive so that they can survive for their retirement monthly so as you can see that uh, Thailand and Philippines are one of the common countries that foreigners want to live in so that they can live peacefully and uh, they can survive in life so guys don't you worry about living in our country because aside from having a good food um you can experience also like if you want to try some local foods you can try but um i don't want to recommend some the local foods that we have here in guys because um there are some foreigners that aren't used to it and they got sick and you get sick guys because you guys are not really used to it so it's better not rather than sorry or you're gonna get sick um but there are some balot of course uh if you want to try that is one of the delicacies here in the philippines also and we are very known to that the balot and you can try but some of the other um local foods you know you shouldn't be um comfortable like you know because you shouldn't you should you should understand the differences of your style there compared here in the philippines or else you're gonna get sick Here's another tip guys if you have a problem of the transportations guys just do a public buses public jeepneys or whatever kinds of public transportation guys because you can save a lot taxi is quite more expensive or like grab cars quite more expensive compared to like just taking a um, public transportation so you can try also like what kind of living that we have but if you just want just make yourself comfortable here in the Philippines so guys thank you thank you so much for watching on this video and if you have any more question regarding this please don't hesitate to ask me a question in the comment section okay and of course i'm going to introduce you one of my trusted dating service in the philippines which is the um the christian dating service guys i'm gonna put the link there and it's your time now to shine to meet a filipina so go 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 who knows guys we're gonna come here in the philippines just to meet her and all right and we're gonna get you know bring her back to your country or else you can live here with her here in the philippines so go 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 don't hesitate guys come on now go 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 bye bye <laughs>